What's going on everybody, it's the Indoor Hunter and we are out here today on Parquet Fernando because we do not have early access to Sunder Baton. Hit that sub button if you haven't already folks. We're not actually going to be hunting Parquet Fernando as the emphasis of this video. We're actually going to be talking about some of our perks and some of the things we need to be ready for the new map coming out tomorrow. Hopefully this video is helpful. But let's get started. Now obviously, if you're a veteran player or not new to the game, this video may not be that helpful to you. Then again, I've spent a lot of time and money practicing and experimenting with different perks that typically aren't used, and some of them are actual bangers. And of course, some of them are, well, not very good, obviously. But let's explore some of these perks that may be actually helpful when Sutter Baton releases tomorrow. Now obviously keep in mind this is for a more of a mobile player like myself, a run and gunner per se, um, but exploration and the ability to find animals is going to be absolutely essential. So of course, whenever we look at our stalker perks, we need our location tracks turned on. All of them are necessary. Track knowledge is absolutely essential. Connect the dots. It can be helpful if you're not experienced with tracking, so for you new guys, I definitely recommend this perk. Soft feet, one of the most essential perks, period. Regardless of play style or what perk set you want, I always recommend soft feet because it reduces noise generated when moving through foliage, and then the tier two reduces, generated, or reduces noise generated when moving through larger vegetation. Very, very important if you want to be stealthy along with improvised blind endurance another one of those perks that regardless of what you want to do i always recommend having endurance this allows that heart rate to come down way way faster which means you can sprint around the map get around the map faster uh, have a chance to get shots on animals that you normally wouldn't uh, initiate or, or innate triangulation this one i don't know it it can be helpful that being said, this is one of those perks that if you want to do some experimenting of your own, you don't necessarily need this one. Like I said, it can be beneficial. I don't recommend it if you're, you know, trying to be hardcore about it and need some certain certain things. Um, I digress. Let's talk about the disturbed vegetation. I actually just recently reset my perks again just to get disturbed vegetation. It's one of those perks that you don't use it or... I, I use it constantly, but it doesn't ever pay off that much. That being said, when it does pay off, it's huge because you can find your rares this way. That this tells you what fur type those animals have that you're tracking, and thus you can find rares this way. Um, I've definitely got a few in the lodge because of this perk. I feel naked when I play without it, and so if you're an explorer like me, if you're wanting to find trophies, if you're sticking to trophy hunting, I highly recommend Disturbed Vegetation. And when it comes to, you know, exploring a brand spanking new map, this, you know, perk is just incredibly valuable because you have no idea what's on your map and that lets you know in a better way. So I think this is going to be very useful on Center Baton. Hopefully the app that is, as they now mentioned in their description, not affiliated with Call of the Wild, but it's an incredible app. Hopefully they get that updated and get that information in there so we can immediately start finding some cool rares and stuff like that. Startle Call. This is one of those perks you don't see anybody use, right? It's because it's all but essentially worthless. Uh, this perk unlocks the ability to stop animals in their tracks for a short time by making an unexpected noise. Perfect for when you're ready to take your shot. Now, you can kind of sort of do this already without ever having to use the perk. You can whistle, the animals will stop. Now that said, you've got a fraction of a second, but with enough practice, you can do it. Um, now if you're really like role playing as an authentic bow hunter in this game, this call or this perk could be useful, but if you're just playing the game, this guy you can leave unchecked, you don't need it. Along with wind prediction, unlocks the ability to detect general wind speed. It's This is one of those perks that I just don't understand. Um, I've used it for countless hours to really no avail. I just never really understood its intent or purpose. Maybe the game was going in a different direction at a time. I don't know. Um, even when you're using a bow and arrow, it's not that useful. You can get pretty much the information you need. Um, I guess you, if you got really skilled with this, um, this is definitely a bow perk, but it's again, it's one of those skills. I, or I just, I can't, can't recommend it. Now, this is a perk 
or the ambusher set here i really had to make a lot of sacrifices to get the skills that i've got i really want to disturb vegetation and i might need to rethink my layout but that being said when we call when we look at uh scent tinker honestly it's not the most important perk i do have more spec into it simply so i can unlock more further down the line uh the more the merrier this one is honestly not that important even if you're starting out that five percent is nice but it, it takes away from more important um perks days confused not important at all spotting knowledge incredibly important i definitely recommend doing that that way we know what we're looking at we know we can look if we're looking at trophy animals or not um sight spotting also incredibly useful tool that being said i do know some people that don't play with it and i don't know if i could but having the ability to look through the optic while you're trying to you know detect if there's like a group of uh, if there's like a diamond or a rare within a group of like birds flying overhead, stuff like that, you know, sight spotting, incredibly useful. Fatal attraction increases the chance of attracting animals. Again, this one, if depends on your play style. I do think it's useful. Colors are handy, um, especially if you're bow hunting, but uh, not the most important. I think this could be useful when it comes to center baton, especially if you've got the e collar. Um, that could be beneficial, but. And that's one of those you could take or leave. Uh, impact resistant, again, take or leave. Depends on which direction that you want to go. Let's go over to some of the perks I currently don't have unlocked. Tagging. Some people really love this skill. Some people hate it. I'm kind of indifferent to it. I can go with it or without it. Clearly, right now, I'm going without it. Um, it can be useful, especially when you're grinding. Um, but if you're just out exploring, eh, take or leave it. This one, um, it's interesting. It has the ability to call random animals in as you're calling. Um, again, if you're a bow hunter and you're just sitting in a tree stand all day, this is actually a fun perk to have. Pack Mule. This is a perk that I think is incredibly valuable. Increases your carry capacity by 15%, basically meaning you don't need to carry a backpack anymore, which makes you way stealthier, way quieter, and you can carry just a ton of gear without needing anything. That said, I don't know if it's quite possible to have this perk and disturb vegetation with the amount that you have to spend to get here. Um, I'm going without it this time or this go through. This is where creating your loadout is much more important. Now, as far as exploring a brand new map, it might be worth the money to spend it to reset these and uh, go for pack mule here because um, it is a very useful tool. We can carry our tents with us. We can carry ground blinds with us and a couple rifles. You know, we could be really, really prepared. Um, let's go up to Keen Eye here. Now, I do have a video dedicated just to this perk. Go check that out. Um, this is a perk I feel like can be actually incredibly useful. It allows you to find need zones utilizing a tower. It's got a 30 minute cooldown time, which can be circumnavigated by backing in or backing out of the game, coming back in. Um, very useful. It's kind of laborious to use. It's definitely a process. Um, that being said, if you've got some stubborn need zones that can't be found, or if you're hunting an animal that doesn't have need zones, looking at you, Snow Leopard, this could be an easier way of finding some game animals. Um, it's not the most useful. It's one of those I don't recommend until you're kind of late game. You've got a ton of money to spend on constant um, perk changes. And I don't know. It's I like it. But again, it's definitely a late stage, late, uh, late game, I think, perk to use. Uh, hill color increases the attraction range of colors when used within 10 meters of a lookout point or elevated structure. This one, if you're a bow hunter, folks, is definitely important. Um, having that extended range of calls is huge because most of them are only out to 150 or 200. And being able to get a little bit more range out of that will attract more games. So it is important. Haggles, this one, I don't, this one's not important. Once you have enough money in this game, money's not a thing. So haggle is completely worthless in my opinion. Um, but again, a lot of these are just some of my opinions. Uh, you know, these the, the, the you have to have spotting knowledge. 
and you have to have soft feet, improvised blind, endurance. Those are the half twos. That goes for pretty much any map, though, in my opinion. But uh, some of the other ones that take or leave, that's up to you. Um, let me know in the comments below what you guys think are the best ones. Um, but let's move right along here to our weapon perks. And this is one where you can get... This is where personal playstyle really comes into play. Starting off with our rifle perks, this is still an experimental loadout. But I can tell you pretty confidently that windage is practically useless um, may, maybe if you're trying to be an extreme bow master uh, this is just worthless having zeroing is much more effective steady hands absolutely critical you uh, decrease that wobble with any weapon regardless breath control again any weapon incredibly important muscle memory also incredibly important that ready speed you wouldn't think is super important it is um i don't have any good examples now to show but when i've done more in-depth perk uh videos in the past again go check those out um i've you know there's there's a very significant speed difference between not having muscle memory and uh having it so i can't play without it now but that one can be user preference let's go to handguns some of these perks are very, very good. Lightning hands, when it's tier three, you're, you're reloading like it's in Call of Duty. Um, that one's pretty useful, especially if you're running gunner like me. Um, you don't have to go full in. Like right now, we're rocking it without, and it's pretty fine. Without having any of this spec into, that reload speed is absolutely brutal. So I highly recommend having something spec in the lightning hands. Uh, Ranger increased. Uh, this, is, this is actually useful. Um, I do like it, and it's our, our bridge to lightning hands, but this is a useful uh, tool. Again, when it comes to uh, quick feet ready, recover to steady aim faster after changing stances when using handguns. Um, if you solely used handguns in this game, it still wouldn't be a useful perk. I don't recommend getting it. Uh, survival Instinct you're going to find to be far better. And with Center Baton, maybe it'll allow you the chance to survive that aggressive encounter. Let's go down to Shotguns. Both eyes open. This one's subjective. I don't take, think it's that useful, so I always just get the first one. Fast Shouldering. This is the uh, aimed out sight speed. Incredibly useful, especially if you're running Gunner. Uh, this is one of those that if you've got only a second opportunity to shoot, this is the perk you need. Um, can't recommend it enough. Body control, weapon sights align faster. This one is okay. Um, if you're grinding, this is good for qu those quick follow-up shots. I do like it. Um, recoil management, incredibly important perk. Definitely when you're using those um, semi-automatic rifles, it cuts down recoil a lot. I do recommend playing with this. However, you can see we do have some uh, bow perks, and this was intentional because move and shoot is decreased wobble while moving in aim mode using any weapon. This is super useful, especially if you're doing things like rabbit hunting or hunting with the shotgun, like with birds, because uh, you're definitely moving a lot. This is going to cut down on that wobble. Definitely important. I don't know if it's needed. This is one of those I could go without because I've played a long time without it, but it is nice kind of having it and feeling what it feels like. It's a pretty good perk, but again, these are up to you, kind of subjective. Um, hopefully, this will kind of help brush up. Now, let's talk about some of the perks I don't have real quick here um, as far as archery goes. Pumping iron, again, if you're using a bow, all of these perks are incredibly important, especially like a pro that allows you to go prone and shoot the bow from the ground, which is very useful. Um, again, if you're into bow hunting, absolutely have to have all these perks because they're awesome. Uh, increased confidence, increases accuracy of the bows when shooting from the hip. You can get up close and personal and do some crazy Legolas stuff. Um, recycle the ability to pick up arrows. That's pretty awesome. Um, save some money there. Arrows are expensive. Um, but all in all, really excited for Center Baton to drop tomorrow. Hopefully this is helpful somewhat to those of you that maybe you're just getting into the game or don't know. Again, veteran players, hopefully we brushed up on some perks that you've always wondered about and were curious about. Um, 
really the last two here are the only ones I could just never actually recommend to anybody. Um, that and... Uh, so, weather prediction, utterly useless. This is the most useless perk in the game, period. Never use it. Not sure why it's in the game. They need to add something to it that allows this to become important for some reason. Um, if you guys have uh, can give me a good reason to have it, let me know in the comments below and I'll eat, eat some crow and we'll, we'll talk about it. But uh, I can definitively say do not ever get this perk. Um, again, startle call, that is borderline worthless. Win prediction, borderline worthless. Um, don't get those. Everything else you can really kind of play with. Again, you can spend a lot of money and reset. You can see here it costs, every time we do this, it costs more money too, by the way. So it's 50 grand just to reset this, another 50 to reset the other perks. Um, but it can it can be beneficial when you, when you reset and change things up and try different play styles. But if you're, if you're locked in like I am on that running gun, folks, what I'm using here I think is going to help us out a ton when we're running around Sunder Baton tomorrow trying to find some new species to put in the trophy lodge. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one.